The land was ready for a win tonight in a national championship, but that dream has to be put on hold. Bandits lost game two of the NLL finals. It will now come back to Buffalo for game three. News for Sports, Heather Prusak is here, and Heather, the Bandits were leading for most of the game. What happened? Yeah, hey there, Jeff. It really came down to that fourth quarter. That's where Colorado picked up all the momentum and really just ran with it. Now, the Bandits actually started the game down 2-0, but came firing back. The Bandits scored five straight goals in the second quarter. Here's one by Dane Smith. That helped Buffalo take a 6-4 lead. There's Chris Cloutier with another, but the Mammoth just took their game to another level in this final 15 minutes. Colorado scored five unanswered goals to close out the game. Overall, outscored the Bandits 7-2 in the second half to win it 11-8. So obviously a disappointing night for the Bandits, as you said, Jeff. But the good news is it's not over yet. They still have a chance to win it. It's a winner-take-all game three for the NLL title next Saturday in front of Bandit Land. And, Jeff, you know that crowd is going to be rocking at Key Bank Center a week from tonight. Fans will certainly be ready. All right, Heather, thank you for that. Well, it certainly was a big bummer for fans watching tonight. Let's get to a watch party in downtown Buffalo. That's where we find News Forest Tara Lynch. Tara. Well, Jeff, despite that loss, the energy tonight was so high. We got here about 30 minutes before that first faceoff at 730. And let me tell you, the crowd here was just so energetic. Here's a quick look at them. But the Bandits fans, they're uh, no stranger to the finals. They were runners up in 2019 and 2016, and they won the whole thing back in 2008. Banditland has been waiting for a while for a league title. They're gearing up for that big game next week, but they tell me it's just great to have this city and even Bill's Mafia behind them. The two married together. The Bills are coming to Bandit Land on Saturday nights. They celebrate it. We've seen some of the Buffalo Bills there. It's so cool that the city's embracing all this together. I haven't seen one in like forever, it feels like. I know it's been over a decade. I feel like we've uh, cut short. The Bills are getting good now and we're hoping the Sabres get better. So it's nice to have a good Buffalo team to get behind right now. Now, game three next weekend, it is winner takes all. That's next Saturday, right down the block here at Key Bank Center. And Jeff, I think the energy tonight, if that's just a taste of what Bandit Land is like at Key Bank Center, then uh, I think the Bandits will have a really big crowd cheering for them. And one of those people is actually one of my new friends here, Liam. And I think he's got uh, one thing to tell you, Jeff. Let's go Bandits! Let's go Bandits! Live in Buffalo, Tara Lynch, News 4. All right, the fans, they certainly will bring the energy. And